An logical fallacy for anybody is just, these are kind of tools, basic tools of skepticism. How, does, how do people convince you of stuff that doesn't exist? How do you become so convinced that, you know, you have to be absolutely sure? And one of the classic ones is the ad hominem, which is basically a personal attack, you know? Where if somebody says, um, you know, I don't believe you, I'm a skeptic, I think, you know, you need to do a bit more work. And instead of trying to prove it or trying to come up with evidence, you get a personal attack. And um, one very good one, an example that I saw um, over the last two, two, or three, um, two or three weeks has been um, a guy called George Monbio. He's a journalist for The Guardian. And he has been a very, very vocal environmental campaigner for a long time. And he's been talking about all sorts of environmental issues and really trying to raise the whole green issue. And he, he wrote an extraordinary article about two weeks ago um, basically alleging that one of the top anti-nuclear campaigners, Helen Caldicott, um, that she had no substance behind a lot of her more extreme claims. It's a really re well worked, a great, argue, you know, great um, uh, article to look at. But she basically just, he basically said, you don't have science to back you up. You're making all of these claims about nuclear power and nuclear energy. And you don't have science, you don't have the, and she's very vehemently, no nuclear, doesn't want any nuclear at all, and I know this is a huge debate, and we're going to try and see if we can get somebody to talk about nuclear in one of the future um, Cork Skeptics meetings. Um, but you know, she didn't. She was basically saying you didn't. You don't have the science to back it up. And she basically responded with, the, "How dare you say this? And who do you think you are? And you know, what did you? You know, this is what you said in the past, and all it's going, which is classic ad hominem. You know, it's basically the, the whole idea that instead of you know trying to argue a subject on its merits and trying to come up with evidence or kind of quote evidence to support your, your thing, you just attack the person who's saying it. And you know as skeptics it's kind of something you have to get used to a little bit as well. Is that you know somebody says, like, oh you're skeptic, you're all very, very close minded, you know, a great way of just diverting the topic back to you when you know you're really just asking a kind of a question about whether this stuff exists or not. So I just wanted to bring it up. It's a it's a classic one, but it's just something to be aware of. It's, you know, sometimes it's good to insult somebody, or sometimes you know uh, to actually go and you know to basically you know ridicule somebody is fine. But an ad hominem is where you know somebody's being put on the spot, and in order for them to get out of the spot, they attack the interviewer, attack the interviewee. So it's a kind of more like a technique than 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 um, just general banter. <coughs> okay, only an idiot would engage in ad hominem attacks.